my channel. I looked into the viewfinder first and so looking here, oh, kill me. Anyway, so today's video is all about me using the Chi Chi Cosmetics makeup brushes. I reviewed them and talked about them in a previous video. I will link it down below, but I achieved this makeup look using those brushes. So I hope you enjoy and without further ado or more of an intro, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the face first. And I'm going to put my hair back because I know it's going to drive some people nuts. Ooh, that looks funny. Anyway, I'm going to start off with the Benefit Professional, just a little one because. Alrighty, all primed. So then I'm going to move on to the face brushes, which are. If I just move you around, all the brushes there. So, alrighty. So the first brush I'm going to use is the buffing brush, this one here, to apply my foundation with. And it looks like this. If you have seen my video before, I will leave a link down below, but this is just me describing each brush individually. So I'll be using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC15. You only have a new brush and you're like, oh. Oh, I don't want to use it, but for the purpose of the video, it's going to use it. And it's blending out really easily. I do think it would be harder if I used a thicker foundation for this brush because my MAC is quite runny. It is a lot easier, but it's so soft in the skin. A little bit of product has seeped through, but it's not that bad. Quite a dense brush. Oh, hello here. <laughs> I like this a lot. As I said, it is the first impression of these brushes. I haven't used them before, so this will be interesting. But so far, they are really soft. I am going to do some fair cheating though because I want to use my Anastasia number no. 7 brush, but I am going to use the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Tor. So, fair cheating, don't hate me. So I'm going to start off with the Basics palette first, this one here, this one. I'm going to zoom you in, okay, so we're nice and close. I'm going to be using the crease brush first and using this whitish shade, probably won't come up much but would help if I probably use a darker colour but I'm just going to use this one to start with. Yeah, I might have to use a darker colour. <laughs> Nothing is showing up. So I'm going to go into the Classics palette and use this brown. This brush picks up so much product. Alrighty, and then to, it's a bit of fallout. So that's my crease pretty much done. I might just darken up just a little bit more because why not? Alrighty, I'm going to go over top of the crease with a pinky colour. I don't know why, I just want to try it. So I'm going to use that 
pinky one here. I can tell, I, I, you can probably tell what eye look I'm going to do, but anyway, I look really pale. Whoa. Alrighty. And then I'm going to use the angled eyeshadow brush for this part of my eye here, the outer part, and I'm going to use, I always go for something original. Oh, this dark colour here. Now, I don't know how much product this has picked up. I think it's picked up quite a bit, so I'm going to be very light handed with this. I don't know if the colour's not dark enough to pick up this colour. Does that make any sense? I'm going to try grey and I'm just going to blend that out with that same brush. I would believe this colour here. Now I'm going to try this on this flat eyeshadow brush, this one here, without any fixed bust on it. So we'll see how we go. I don't know if you can tell, picked up quite a good product. I'm going to use fix this because I like my eyeshadow to pop. So what I've done is I have picked up the product on the brush and then I'm going to apply the fix plus. Yep. I just love fix plus. Alrighty, I'm going to leave this eye here and move on to the other eye and I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, so both eyes are done now and I'm going to just conceal under my under eyes and do a little bit of the highlighting with the concealer. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me. Really light. <laughs> going to use the small stippling brush for this. So let's see how we go. I like this brush. It was very quick and easy and it's soft. And it's cool, so I'm gonna say it's soft because it's soft. Set to my under eye. Now I am going to cheat and use my e.l.f. blush brush, mainly because I couldn't find an under eye one that I liked. And I was going to use my beauty, my Chi Chi Beauty Blender, but I wanted to keep it to the brushes. So I'm just going to use my Matte Moonlight Skin Finish on this e.l.f. blush brush. And just set where I have concealed. Let's move on to the under eye area. So I'm going to be using the Chi Chi Smudger Brush with that grey colour here. And then I'm going to use the Inner Corner Brush to highlight my inner corners using this colour here. It's got a lot of product. <laughs> What well, I'm filming. I'm filming. Okay. I'm just using that clean crease brush just to blend this all up. In the corner brush. I'm going to do some mascara and then we'll move on to the rest of their face. My CoverGirl Super Sizer. On. Next, I'm going to use the powder brush to set my whole entire face, and I'm going to be using my Stralis Fresh and Flawless in Natural. Nice brush. <laughs> and then I'm going to contour with the contouring brush, and I'm going to use my Bahama Mama for this. Too scared to pick up a lot of product while oh, the lighting keeps changing.
nice brush. This is nice. And I'm just going to use that to bronze as well. That hot, hot mama, Bahama mama. And blush, <laughs> the angled blush, the angled blush brush. Now, as I said in this video, I'm not too sure how I'll find this because I do like different style brush heads for blush. Where this, I feel like this is a more contouring one. But we'll see how we go. I'm going to going to use the hot mama. It's nice. Still not persuaded on the brush, but it's nice. And last but least, I'm going to use the powder brush for my highlight. It's exciting. I love it, it doesn't work. Should work. But going to use my Mary Lou. I've had you zoomed in for all of this. Oh well. Alrighty, I like this brush too. <laughs> I like all of these pretty, pretty much except for that blush one. I've got to get used to it, that's all it is. It's just me getting used to it. Going to set my face with some Fix Plus. Alrighty, let's do a lips. I'm going to be using Max Whirl. And then using Max Velvet Teddy. Alrighty, so I'll zoom you out. So that's the finished makeup look I achieved with these brushes, except for obviously the lips, the mascara and the brows. But I quite do like those brushes. So, after using them, yes, yes I do like them. I can't wait to use them again and just experiment, to experiment, experiment with them and see what other makeup looks I can come up with and just getting used to using different brushes because as we all are a creature of habits. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.